Welcome back, folks. The Dow Industrials right now up 131, NASDAQ up 64, S&P's up 16. Now, I got a real treat for us, folks, okay? You know, you know we're in the metals market in a big way. Well, guess what? We have someone uh, that happens to be right in our neighborhood uh, that is not only uh, knows the metals market upside down, they know the silver market upside down, the gold market upside down, the coin market upside down. Uh, we got our man, Mr. Jay uh, Ar Archibine. And uh, Jay's family, folks, started, if you're watching Tiger TV right now, you're going to see the Silver Queen uh, and how it all began in 1972 when Jay's father, Art, got this baby going. Jay, welcome to TFNN. Up. Oh. We're going to get him back. Okay. We'll get him back. As soon as we get him back, uh, we will get him on. Uh, the, the website, folks, is uh, thesilverqueen.com. And uh, when I get Jay back, first off, uh, Jay and I have done a lot of business. Uh, actually, when, uh, when Steve and I had the, uh, we were buying gold and buying silver, we were also doing a huge amount of business. Uh, this is a great place to do business with. Uh, you talk about knowing the business upside down. It's, it's pretty amazing. I think we're going to get them back right now. And we are going to, first we're going to be talking gold, silver, platinum. Uh, because what you do have in the markets, folks, okay, there's a, there's a differential between buying and selling futures versus buying and selling physical. And that's what I want to talk to them about first. Do you have them? Nope. I don't know. Uh, perfect. Jay, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. How are you doing, man? I'm doing great. Well, listen, first off, thanks so much for coming on. Really appreciate it. Oh, no problem. It. Love to be on. So, first, you know, I, I, I have your website up, and, mm -hmm. you know, I have a picture of your dad, you and your couple brothers, uh, like maybe you were about uh, seven or eight years old when he was opening up in 72? Yeah, absolutely. We started when in 72. I was six years old. My brother Chris was seven, and my other brother Greg was eight. And we all basically worked the family business, uh, you know, made it the success that it is today. And, folks, you know, if you're watching Tiger TV, remember this is it's archived. You're going to be able to see uh, it's the silverqueen.com. And um, Art was a, a master sergeant in, in the Air Force, started in 72. Um, now, I happen to be lucky enough that this. Uh, facility is right down the street from us, so we've done a lot of business. Um, I was talking with Jay this morning, right? And mm -hmm. yes, sir. you know, we, we get a lot of calls in here, Jay. So first, I want to talk a little bit about. We were talking about platinum, right? Yes. And so, what, what's what, what's happening here, folks, is this. So so picture this, you know. And you've heard me say this many times over the year, like like, hey, listen. And this goes back two years now, folks. Okay, that. My take is that platinum is worth more than gold, okay? Well, guess what? It doesn't really matter what my take is because the bottom line, the market uh, has been basically saying for quite some time now that gold is actually worth more than platinum. We have the platinum contract trading at 788 when, you know, gold is up at the 1200. So, supply versus demand. Let, let's picture that I come into your, your, your business and I want to buy platinum. How long am I? How long is it going to take to get it? Well, uh, normally we, when we order platinum, it takes uh, weeks to get in. Okay. Uh, which kind of makes no sense because you know, like you say, historically platinum has always been higher than gold. Yes. You go to any any uh, the club, the platinum level is always higher than the gold level. Right. Uh, even when I was playing Dungeons and Dragons when I was really young, yeah. uh, you know, the platinum was five to one to the gold ratio. Wow. So it's it's like and I say, historically always been higher, and uh, you know the the price. Well, I was telling you this morning, the price seems to be falling. But the, the supply side is not there. Right. When I order contract, when, when, when I, I basically only deal in physicals. I don't yes. deal in, in uh, stocks. Yep. So I have to get the gold, platinum, or silver for the customer. Sure. Now, now the big guys, you know, even bigger than us, yeah. uh, they, they have some reluctancy to sell the platinum. And it, it does take, you know, sometimes weeks to fill a contract of plat uh, platinum where, you know, the gold is more readily available. And yeah. uh, 
kind of like defeats the whole purpose of supply and demand economics where, you know, if there's a demand for a certain metal, it should be going up. So, uh, we're, you know, and, I, and I've asked, I've asked, you know, a lot of the experts and we're, we're basically in uncharted water. Nobody really, really knows the answer to that question. It's pretty cool, man. I mean, I, yeah. I you know, I, the, in the aspect of what I'm saying specifically and is that, you know, like, we're so used to folks, whether trading the futures or trading, trading mm -hmm. the equities, you got to remember something. The futures are a derivative of it. So what you're hearing off Jay, the real question, you know, comes down to, is it liquid? And we know that, well, it's not liquid. If it's taken weeks in order to get it, um, you know, when, when you take a look at the contract value versus what it actually is, well, you know, we we might be at a deal here. I mean, the differential is pretty intense right now. I remember the last time I went down and I gave you my gold coins or the platinum coins. I thought I was in heaven. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you you got to love it. So here, let, let's talk about um, what else you do at the Silver Queen. I know that when your, your mother and father, your father started, your mother got involved. Mm -hmm. And like when you walk in the Silver Queen, folks, when you see the Silver Queen now, it's actually pretty amazing. Was that... You started that building from scratch, or was it a bank building? What was it? That? It was an old, I believe it was an old Am South building. My brother Greg, uh, Greg found it for us, and okay. uh, we built this beautiful building on it. There's, there's an interesting story about the Silver Queen also I'd like to share with you. Uh, Great. This, my, my mom, uh, basically, we all built the business, even, yes. even as kids, during the gold rush. Okay. 79, 80, I'm sure you've talked to your listeners about oh, yeah. when the Hunt brothers tried to corner the market in gold and silver. Yes. Uh, that's how the Silver Queen, uh, the Silver Side, was was born. Really? My mom uh, always bought silverware when she was she worked at Grant's, and she would uh, take her paycheck and buy a place setting of silverware. Okay. Well, well, in '79 and '80, we were scrapping some of the most beautiful silver patterns, you know, Chantilly, Francis the First. I mean, the ones that everything automatically became worth worth more in scrap than it did in, in better stuff. Wow. So my mother decided, you know, I'm not going to scrap these out. I'm going to I'm going to keep all these patterns and uh, you know, that was in 1981, 80 to 81. That's okay. when we started basically selling the the silver flatware uh, to the public. We're probably the largest or the second largest pattern matching service in the country. Yes. And uh, that, that it was kind of born uh, on an offshoot from the, uh, you that, know, thankfully the Hunt brothers tried to corner the market, and, uh, and that, that's how my mom started the silverware side. And, you know, we've, we've developed into everything where we do uh, crystal, giftware, you know, obviously coins. Coins are my love, as you know. I, sure. I, 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 I love coins. I was a coin, you know. I was, that's what I did as a kid. Heck, I, heck, I sold coins in, uh, in school. I, Probably get in trouble for doing that now. But, well, say, ch check know, the I, I, I always had me and I bring new coins to my my buddies at school and uh, uh, trade coins. So we we do everything, a little bit of everything here. You know what's so cool, folks? Okay, is that you know what I love? I mean, I've been down here 22 years now. So I think you know it's probably 20 years ago the first time I did business with you. In fact, this is a great story. Oh my God! Stay right there. It's going to be a break. You might. You may remember this story or not, but this is a this this is actually the first time that I walked into your place. So this is when gold was at two hundred and eighty-two dollars. Uh -huh. Yeah, stay right there, folks. Jay and I are coming right back. The website is silverqueen.com, and folks, they ship all over the country. So bottom line, if you want to understand the metal business, you can give him a give him a call. I'll have his number as soon as we come back. Welcome back, folks. We're talking with Jay Archibine. We are talking metals. We're talking the Silver Queen in uh, beautiful uh, Lago, Florida. And, folks, uh, Jay's number is 727-581-6827. If you have any needs, gold, silver, platinum, no problem. Give them a buzz. Coins. Uh, when we're talking silver... And when you're talking sets, okay, bottom line is that, as Jay just said, uh, giving us that story about uh, how his mother started that business, I can tell you I'm in this store a lot, and it's absolutely ex exquisite, um, the sets that they have. You know, I was always wondering, you know, the, the, well, here, yeah, I got to tell you the first time I went in your place, because okay. uh, before they had built this building, folks, okay, it's actually where um, I work out with Nico, that was where they were, okay, because I believe that's your building anyway. And, yeah, my, my, we still own that. Yeah, and so I walk in. Gold's at two hundred eighty-two dollars, right? I remember your dad's on the left-hand side. Uh, you and Chris were on the right-hand side, 
And I go in, and you know, everyone's talking and stuff, and I, I said to either your father, you, I don't know, I says, yeah, yeah, you know, uh, how much is gold? And you gave me what the price was, and the premiums then were really small anyway, folks. And I remember saying that, well, you know, we're in a bull market now, right? And I, I remember, mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember, like, everyone's laughing, like, really? You know what I mean? Because what had happened, folks, is that we were in a 20-year bear market. And bottom line is that, yeah, it took a few months, but guess what? Then that, that was the start of a market. You know what's so wild about that, Jay? Not just what happened there, because I, I just felt that that's what we were. I remember I had so many CEOs that were advertising with us, and none of the CEOs you know, of the gold companies really believed it because they had been getting hurt for so long, such a long <laughs> period of time. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Pretty wild, man. Yeah. So when we, can we talk a little bit about the... So your mother started with the, the, the patents, right? Of, mm -hmm. And so now, I mean, realistically, people call from all across the country, right? We're either buying or selling silver patents, right? Yeah, silver patterns. We're pattern matching. If somebody, you know, one piece goes down the garbage disposal, we, we match it up and, uh, you know, we have... Uh, there's probably nothing we can't find. If, if we don't have it, we can find it. And, uh, you know, it's that is so simple cool. process. And our prices are... are, are you know, not high, high retail, where there's usually about a, you know, a double to triple the, the silver value you're paying for, for flatware. Yes. Uh, on a semi-retail level, which, you know, we, we always, you know, specialize in good prices and, and always strive to do the best for the customer, whether we're buying or selling. Well, you move a lot of product, which, what, mm -hmm. what, what, I, what I dig about always dealing with you, so picture something, folks, okay, is that when you're moving product, that's all that really matters. And, and I've seen Jay and his family know how to move product. And specifically what that means is that you don't have to make a huge amount of money on something. It's just moving, moving, moving. You just, you're in the moving business, right? That's, that's the reality, you know? Oh, absolutely. We, we you know, one, one side always helps the other. That's, that's another thing my parents uh, uh, instilled in us and, and as far as values, as far as, you know, the economy. We, we, we're retailers, you know. Yes. We, Definitely sell at fair prices. We're not, uh, I hate, you know, throw people under the bus. We're not mall store jewelry shop who, right. you know, it's five times markup because that's all they do. But, you know, if the economy is very, very good, uh, you know, we'll be selling a lot of jewelry retail and, and, you know, we'll be making it that way. And if the economy is not as good, then we'll be buying, you know, we'll be making it on the other side, buying and selling, you no. know. That's cool. When the market goes down, you know, people are always going to need money. So no, there's, there's um, no doubt. My parents, thankfully, they, they, they watched out for us and they, they set it up so uh, uh, we were able to to maintain. You know, for 40 years for for a coin dealer is is it's huge, unheard yeah. of. I mean, there's there's too much that can happen in, in this industry. There that that. Uh, uh, you know, if, if, our, if our family wasn't tight knit and uh, worked together, you know, my three bro two no, two brothers and my I work really really well together. They're, and they're, uh, you know, we keep, we keep this thing going. And, listen, I, there's no doubt when Steve and I, you know, when we had the exchange, we were doing a lot of mm -hmm. business with these guys, folks, and it's amazing. Because when you actually look at the amount of dollars that go through versus what your spread is, you can't make a mistake, right? I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's gets, it gets intriguing, I mean, do you know, in general, do you know what I mean? Because it's oh. like, you got to move things quick, because... Oh, yeah, absolutely. As, as, as you remember, there's, you know, you're working on, on a small percentage. Right. And you know, you you, you got to get it in, in and out, you know. Sometimes you take your lumps in the last uh, uh, cup, couple of months, you know, the, the metals have been dropping. Yeah. You know, it, it happens. Sure. You just got to spread it out. No, I'm, I'm with yeah. you. Yeah, you're just spreading it out. You know, and, and what's pretty cool here, folks, so, so picture, his dad actually walks by my house every night, and they, he has a big Doberman Pinscher, beautiful dog, by the way. Um, and when you tell me the story, well, when, uh, this, that, that's not actually the first time that I saw you and your, your brothers, like, when you're young. And I remember mm -hmm. a, a couple of the coin shows, your son with you, and then... I was just in the shop like three weeks ago, and now he's a he's a monster. He's huge compared yeah, to yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Andy's been with us for since he graduated high school. He's, he's been with us for for that time. He's he's doing a very 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 good job, and there's uh, no issues with the future of this company. We're we're going to be we, you're going to be talking to us in 20 years. Oh, It'll probably yeah, be Andy, no. but so, you know. <laughs> so hey, well, listen, you you I. I he has the sale every year. So you have Christmas in August. Oh, well, it, tell me what the sale is now. Chris, 
Christmas in August is going on right now, believe it or not. Okay. Uh, uh, we're, we've got 25% off all, all all the jewelry and uh, the flatware and and a lot of and all the the giftware. Uh, please stop by. There's no obligation to buy anything. We give a full size candy bar, not one of these little mini candy bars. You get a full size candy bar, and each one of them has a, a number on it, and you get either gold, so well mostly so either silver. Uh, there is a couple gold coins in there, real small ones. Okay. You get gold, silver, or a hundred-year-old coin. Just you know, just for stopping by. It matches up with your favorite candy bar, and uh, we gotta have a lot, of, a lot of other giveaways there. It's it's more of a festive, fun time. Yeah. I mean, which which you guys know how to do really well. There's yeah, no doubt people about. love it. It's it's one of our events uh, uh, we've we've had for years, and it's it's very good. So and it's, it's 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 today and tomorrow, so it's not not too late to stop by. Okay, and and folks, if you're in this area, they're on West Bay. Uh, what number West Bay, Jay? We're 1350 West Bay Drive. 1350. And if you're across the country, folks, and if you are looking for you know gold and silver, or jewelry in general, but you know gold and silver coins, uh, give Jay a call. 727-581-6827. Uh, yeah. Now let me ask you, the what you know I know at different times. You know, meaning this month, last month. What are you getting in the most of? Is is it are people bumming out in the gold market, silver market? Where where do people what do, what do people feel like right now? Well, the, there's a lot of staying pat right now. There's a lot okay. of, uh, of people just kind of watching the market. We're not on the bullion side, the physical delivery side. We're not as busy uh, as as we would. Uh, uh, you know, when the market drops. Uh, People sell when the market uh, excels. People buy. Right you know? now, so, are, are they selling gold right now? Not not as much as uh, as, nah. as we would think. But That's there's what more I like. no, uh, on our side. I... Unfortunately, in the last five, three to five years, there's been a lot more selling than than people buying. Yeah, no, I, I can see that. But what, what I'm digging in, and you know, I've used you as a gauge many times. <laughs> And, you know, the, the folks know that, meaning that when I'm looking at the market saying, okay, f what has happened in the physical market? Because it's so important. Do you know what I mean? So important. Yeah, physically, more people are selling than buying right now, which, right. you know, we, we like it the other way. No We'd doubt. people be buying well, than selling. Listen, but. man, congratulations. You know, have a great one, Jay. Have a safe right, one. Tom. Appreciate you coming on. All right, I need you to stop by and see us, too. I'm coming by, man. I'm coming right, by. He's just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, 6 videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters.